Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abdul. I'm a unified communications architect talking about Cisco and Microsoft UC solutions. If you're following me from the last video, we have seen how to create an Office 365 developer sandbox account, which is free. But when you're practicing with Microsoft 365, if you wanted to do some extra stuff on the Azure portal, like you wanted to deploy some Azure virtual machine, you have to have a subscription. When you subscribe for a 365 developer sandbox, Azure AD is a part of that. It's available by default. But the problem is to add any other services like a virtual machine, subnet or anything else, you have to have a real subscription. That means you have to attach your debit card or a credit card. The Azure access, the Azure portal access, which you got by default with the developer sandbox, there you cannot have any real subscription. In this video, we will see how to get an Azure subscription. I'll be going for a paid subscription because I don't have any free trial option available. If you are starting with a new account and if your credit card or debit card is pretty new, that means you haven't subscribed any Azure subscription before, then you can use that facility called free trial account. I'm not eligible for that free trial account because my debit card I have used multiple times so they will not give me any free account. So the next option is available as called pay as you go option which is nothing but you will be attaching your debit card or credit card. When you deploy a virtual machine whatever amount it consumes it will be debited from your debit or credit card. Again it's a monthly billing fashion it will be auto debited from your account. Usually people are concerned about the auto debit option because when you have that debit card attached and you have some virtual machine running in Azure and you forgot to delete them okay and end of the month what happened there will be a subscription charge and Microsoft will auto debit that amount from your account. So to stop that, I would recommend, I always recommend to have a virtual card. There are a lot of banks in India, they offer virtual credit card or virtual debit card, which is nothing but it's not a real card. You can generate a virtual card. You can attach that with any other subscription. Like even if you're going for a Netflix subscription or any other subscription, I would strongly recommend to have a virtual card. The benefit of having that virtual card is that you can block it immediately. Suppose you have a real card and a virtual card. So the virtual card you can manage using your mobile application, banking application. You can manage that virtual card. You can stop it. You can load money. You can destroy it. Suppose you forgot to delete a lot of Azure VMs. At the end of the month, Microsoft will come and automatically charge you. But if you have a virtual card and you disable that virtual card after your practice, then nobody going to charge you anything. So it is always safe to have a virtual card. And like I said, almost all banks are providing that virtual facility today in India. I have used a Canara Bank account. I'll show you how to create that virtual card in Canara Bank application. If you have Canara Bank, you can follow that and the steps will be different for other banks but anyway end of the day you need to have a virtual card okay that doesn't mean you cannot use real card you can still use it but this is my recommendation because we are working on the lab scenarios and other stuff always to have a controllable debit card so that you can always stop it that auto debit and other stuff i'll show you how to sign up for a canara bank debit card open your canara bank application and go to search option and look for cards debit cards now click on the virtual debit card and then select your account and create a virtual card. It's pretty straightforward process. Click confirm. And then a virtual card will be created based out of your bank account. Now you can go and see the card in the card section. Again, it's virtual card. And all the card information will be available like CBB, expiry date and other things. Manage the usage using the manage settings and then enter the pin number. And you can enable the international transaction on the top and also set a usage limit. That usage limit can be anything like I set it for 100 rupees so that maximum usage it will be charging for me is 100. More than 100, nobody can, be, nobody can charge me more than 100 rupees. So that's it. Once you set that, you have your virtual card ready. You have to authenticate multiple times. This is your card. And you can also set a PIN number for the usage. You can also see the CVV number. Once you have the debit card ready, you have to log into portal.azure.com. Portal.azure.com. And you must use the account which is used to sign up the initial time. So if you have seen my previous video, the developer sandbox video, in that we will be using a Gmail account. So initially we created a Gmail account and then with that Gmail, I created a Microsoft account. From that Microsoft account, I purchased uh, a developer sandbox. Then to log into the developer sandbox, I have my own user IDs like on Microsoft.com user ID. And then after logging in, I also created my own user ID like msadmin at ajoclub.com, stuff like that. But for this specific thing, you have to use the master Microsoft account, which is that Gmail ID, which I have used. And you need to log in with that account. So let me log in. 
ajlabs115 at gmail.com is my Microsoft account because when I sign up for the developer uh, sandbox, this is the primary account I have used. So I'll be using that and I'll log into my portal.azure.com. Okay, so they are asking me to send a code. Okay, let me get that code. I have the code ready here. So this is my Azure portal. So keep in mind, I haven't used any of the onmicrosoft.com domain. I just use my own Gmail, which I have created only for the Microsoft lab practice. So with that, I have logged in. Okay. And you cannot access the 365 portal with this account. You can only access the Azure portal. From that, you have to go and search for subscription. Okay. So subscription is nothing but any resource that you create in Azure. You have to attach that resource with the subscription. So that end of the month, they will charge from that particular thing. So currently I don't have any subscription. I'm going to add a subscription click add new and they will tell you these are the eligible options for you but for me as I said personally I don't have the free trial option I can't get that go ahead and go with this one pay as you go if you are starting with a new one you can try this start for free still you need to enter your debit card or credit card information but you will get $20 credit so any VMs or any service that you install it will be debited from that $20 credit once you exhaust that $20 credit they will ask you to set up another pay as you go service I have already completed this particular free option. So I'm going to be setting up with a paid one. So I'll go and click get started. Click next. Pan ID. You can give your pan card number here. And you're going to be entering your debit card details, which is your virtual debit card details. I'm not showing that section in the video, but uh, it's a pretty straightforward option. You go ahead and enter all your virtual debit card details. Okay. So I have my card added here, then click next. I can provide all my information. This is good. Click next and then getting started on Azure. So they are asking what kind of uh, support you want from the Azure technical team. I am setting this for my lab testing, so I don't need any technical support and click sign up. And they're asking, how was your experience? So of course, it was good. And this will actually create a subscription. And with that subscription, you can create any services in Azure and those services will be get charged from that particular card. So in my virtual card, I have loaded 100 rupees. So any auto debit or anything happen, it goes until 100 rupees. That's it. It won't go beyond that. So this was the reason I was talking to you about the virtual card option. If you attach a real debit card, what happens? The amount will be automatically debited from that account. Instead of that virtual card, there will be a limit. I can put a limit, okay, 100 rupees or 50 rupees. You can even put one rupees. Nobody going to charge you automatically unless you load the money in that particular card. So it is always safe, not only for this one, anything that you subscribe using online platform, I would really recommend to have that virtual account. And Canara Bank, I feel uh, really comfortable with the Canara Bank debit card option. If you don't have a Canara Bank account, start one account and then start using this feature, which is amazing. By the way, this is not a paid video from Canara Bank. All right, so I got my subscription. I am done. I can go and check my subscription area. Usually they call it as pay as you go. So what I do is after creating it, I will rename it to, there is an option to rename pay as you go. Canara virtual debit card pay as you go. So this will make more sense because I can have multiple subscription here. I can add another card. I can add another account, a lot of options available, but just to make sense. Okay. I will understand. Okay. This particular one is debiting money from my Canara bank virtual card. All right. All right. So we have completed adding a subscription in the account that we have signed in as ajlabs115 at gmail.com. So I will call this as a source account. So from this account, I wanted to move this particular subscription to my developer sandbox account. So let's log into the developer sandbox. By the way, when you do this, you have to have two browsers. You can use a Chrome and Mozilla or use private window in Mozilla and then uh, a normal login in one window because I'll be logging into multiple things. So let's go and log into our 365 tenant developer sandbox. This is our 365 portal admin.microsoft.com and I have logged in using the default account admin at, a, admin at ajdevelop.onmicrosoft.com. This was the account created during the sign up process. You can see my previous video. How do we sign up? So this was the default user with all the global privileges and everything the time of sign up with this account with this developer sandbox account. I also have access to Azure AD. 
portal.azure.com. When I log into portal.azure.com, I don't see any subscription here. Then you guys may ask, okay, what if I go and create free subscription here or some pay, pay as you go subscription here? That is not possible because when you're signing up using developer account, you cannot have a paid subscription in that Azure portal. So the only option you can transfer from another one to this one, that is what we are currently doing. So I need all my subscription here. When I log into the admin portal, I should be able to see my subscription. And also I should be able to log into the Teams, sorry, uh, Microsoft Admin Center with the same account, also Teams Admin Center with the same account. So that is my intention. So I am here. This is my destination Azure. And the other one is my source Azure. Let me open this side by side. All right. So right hand side, what you see with AJLAS 115 is the source tenant. And this is my destination tenant. Destination you can see admin at ajdevelop.onmicrosoft.com. So I am moving the subscription from here to here. So for that, first you need to go to the source. You have to do a few things at the source tenant. Go to source, go to home, and then search for Indra AD, Microsoft Indra AD. Initially, it was uh, Microsoft Azure AD. Now they rebranded as Indra AD. Okay, you can see that here. <laughs> Azure AD is now Microsoft Indra AD. So I am logging for the first time after they rebranded this one. Yeah, all cloud things, where they will rename stuff every now and then. <laughs> okay, so go to users. And what I'm currently doing here is, this is my default account with that gmail account right i will be adding a developer account here as a guest user okay so what is my developer account let's go back to the developer portal this is my developer account admin.ajdevelop.onmicrosoft.com i am copying this one copy this come back to my source tenant new user select this one invite external user then enter the mail id here Display name, I can use the same thing. What that was, the, what was that? AJ Develop Sandbox. Okay. Then next properties. You can fill the details if you want. I don't need that. Assignments. I need to assign a role which should be global administrator or specifically you can assign a different role. But for the sake of this example, I can select global administrator. Select. Click next and invite. So what I'm currently doing here is for the source cluster, source tenant, I'm adding a guest user as the administrator. Okay. So this will initiate an email. This would have sent an email to admin.ajdevelop.onmicrosoft.com. Now you need to access that email and accept the invitation. So to access that email, make sure in the 365 portal, this particular user is having the licenses assigned. I do have 365 e5 developer account. That is enough. I can now access my Outlook, outlook.365office365.com. And I see an invite came from Microsoft saying that, uh, would you like to accept this invitation? So once I accept this, and I'll show you one more thing. In the destination, currently, if I go to the destination Azure portal, if I click here and switch directory, I don't see any extra directory here because admin at ajdevelop.com is only a part of AJ Labs tenant. Okay. But once I accept that invitation, I'll be able to see one more directory here. So let's see that. I'm going to click accept invitation. So this is I'm doing on the destination side. Okay. So these are the permission I need to grant. It's okay. Now they're asking me to log in again. I use the same account ajdevelop.onmicrosoft.com and accepted that invitation. I don't know what is this. Something went wrong. That's okay. This means that I have accepted the invitation. I'll go back to my Azure portal. Okay. I will refresh this page with the same MS admin at ajdevelop. Now I can see a switch option. So this particular user, admin.ajdevelop, is a native user in ajlabs directory and a guest user in the other one, which is like ajlabs115 gmail something something. So the access is granted. Now let's go back to the source again. Now all we need to transfer this subscription. This is the subscription, right? I need to move this subscription to the other one. So only thing I need to add here is go here, go to access manage access control. So click add role assignment. Currently, there is only one owner, which is AJLabs110, right? So go to Privilege Administrator Role, click Owner and click Next. And here, select Members. So I will be selecting my guest member. Okay, so this is my guest member. Select this. Select. Next. You can select No Constraint. Click Next. Review and Assign. So that guest user got a permission to this particular subscription. Yes. We are good. Now let's go back to the destination tenant. 
So this is my destination tenant. By the way, how do you understand which is destination, which is source? Source will have AJ Labs 115 top right hand side. Destination will have admin at AJ Develop. So currently I am here. I still don't see any subscription, but go to this place and click switch directory and then select the default directory, which is not the default one, by the way. The name is only default directory. This is a directory came from that AJ Labs 115 or gmail.com thing. Click switch. I have currently switched my directory and here I will be able to see the new subscription. Let us verify that type subscription here. Yes. So I can see that subscription here. So from here, I wanted to switch this directory because I don't want that AJ Labs 11 stuff that directory there. I need to have that only the ajclub.com directory. So here you select change directory and then they're saying we need to confirm your identity before it means they are asking me to enable multi-factor authentication for this particular directory. I do have it enabled for the, the default directory, which is ajlab.com, ajlab.com. I also wanted to enable two factor for this particular 115 blah, because only those administrators can do this kind of switch. So go ahead and click uh, enable multi-factor authentication. It's easy. You have to have Microsoft Authenticator installed. I, I do have that installed, which is a free application available for iPhone as well as Android. I have it here. Then inside the Authenticator, there is a plus. I don't know whether you can see this or not. There is a plus icon over here. Click that plus icon. Then they are saying personal account, work or school account. So let me select work or school account. And then there is an option called scan QR code. Once you Select scan QR code, reach that point, scan QR code. You can see your camera is on and you just need to click next, next and scan this QR. Click next again and they will send you a test. This is granted. So my multi-factor authentication is complete. Now I can start moving the subscription. All right. So we were at the process of moving the subscription. Let's click change directory and what is my destination directory? It should be AJ Labs or whatever the one uh, that you signed up as part of the developer sandbox program. I selected this, click change. Okay, it shows directory changed. Now I can switch back to the directory again, switch directory and then select my AJ Labs, switch. Uh, what is subscription? By the way, I don't see the subscription anywhere. Let me see in the source cluster. This is the source uh, Azure. Go to home and then go to subscription. Uh, it's completely vanished. So it's gone from here and it didn't come there. That's okay. It will come. Let's wait for some more time. Yes, once I refresh after some time, I was able to see the uh, subscription here. So currently what I have done is I created a developer sandbox account with uh, my Gmail ID. Uh, the limitation of developer sandbox account is that you can use all the features like 365 tools, all software as a services license you get as part of E5 developer. But to do something on the Azure side, you don't get any stuff. You will not be having uh, an option to add a subscription. And also in the developer sandbox account, if you log in to get a subscription, they will say, okay, you are not eligible for any of the subscription, including paid subscription. So at that point, what I have done is I logged in with the, my Gmail account. Uh, means I logged into Microsoft account using my Gmail ID. Then I created a subscription there using my virtual Canara bank card. And I came back and in the same tenant, by the way, when I log into the Microsoft account, it's a tenant. So inside the tenant, my developer account, I added as a guest account. I also granted the global admin privileges. Then I accepted the invitation from the destination, which is my developer account. I accepted the invitation. Then I went back to the source again. This particular subscription, which is my Canara Bank virtual debit card subscription. I added this guest user as a owner. Okay. Again, came back to the destination cluster. I was able to see that subscription in that particular directory. I moved the directory into AJ Labs. Then I refreshed a couple of times, logged out and logged in. And I was able to see the subscription here. So at this point, if I wanted to do any labs, I can use 365 admin.ajdevelop.onmicrosoft.com account. I can log into 365 portal. I can also log into my Azure account. I can log into any other team services. Inside Azure account, I do have a valid subscription as well. This is the way you can set up a complete Microsoft lab. Keep in mind, anything that you do as part of 365 program, which is like your Teams admin, Exchange admin, all those things are totally free. You don't need to pay anything for that. And anything that you do on the Azure will be charged based on your resources in the Azure. Hope that is clear. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.